Welcome back, everybody. Guess what time it is, Sid? Well, it's spring, Dina. Yes, it Thanks is. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and a lot of people, whether they're qualified or not, are going out into their backyards and digging up stuff. Yeah. Now, most of the times it's kind of harmless, but sometimes things can get dangerous, it's especially true. when you don't know exactly what's under you and what you could potentially hit. Here to join us to talk about that is Kate Campbell of HGTV. She's partnering up with Ontario One Call, and they're here to help spread the word of safety when it comes to digging. It is Dig Safe Month. Also joining us, Ian Simpson, Director of Education and Marketing for Ontario One Call. Kate, Ian, good morning to both of you. Kate, start with you. I mean, we all understand the weather's getting nicer. People want to head out and, and, and get some projects going. But this is also a dangerous time of year, is it not? It, it can be, potentially. And actually, Ian and I were talking yesterday about the fact that calls to Ontario One Call have doubled from this time wow. last year. Ooh. So obviously, people are wanting to get outside and wanting to really uh, dig into their outdoor projects. Hey Did you just hey steal my pun from the commercial, Brie? Wow. Kate? You're lucky. I love you. She literally just Dino stole wants my pun. Full credit for the That's commercial break pun. That's all I had. Kate. I thought we Sorry, were a team. You know what? I, I thought too. we were all a team. Clearly, we're not. It's like the Hamburglar over here. <laughs> Clearly, we're not. Uh, it was too good. Okay, fine. <laughs> you can have it. All right, Ian. Um, okay, Ian. I got yeah, another go one. Ian. Give us the dirty. And what do we need con to concern <laughs> ourselves with when we're starting a dig? Project. Yeah, so, so basically it's all about planning, right? So it's about getting the dirt, it's about getting the information. So the most important thing is to find out exactly where those utility lines are and the underground infrastructure on your property. And the only way to do that is to contact Ontario One Call a minimum of five business days before you dig. Oh. And then we ask you some information, whether that's through an online form or if you call our call center. And then we send that information out to utilities and underground infrastructure owners. And what they do is they send representatives out to mark where that underground infrastructure is and send you paperwork via email so you don't have to talk to them at all. And then once you have the paperwork and the marks, you know how to dig safe. So how is this different than like getting a permit or is this before you get the permit? Like how does that work? You said you need at least five days lead time before you shovel anything. Yeah. And what could go wrong? Like could you hit wires? Oh, this is a great question. Yes, you could. So, yeah, it, it's different than getting a permit. This is this is just like if you're playing the dig for any reason, whether you're putting in a fence post, or you're, you're, you're fixing your fence post, or you're putting in a tree, um, basically you just reach out to us. And if you don't reach out to us, there's a huge danger for you, your family, your property, your neighborhood, and the local businesses. Could you imagine putting a shovel in the ground and hitting a gas pipe and Ooh, what that yikes. would mean? Yikes. You know, you'd have to call 911, the evacuations would happen. And if you don't reach out to one call, Ontario One Call is the law. We've been in law for almost a decade now. If you don't reach out to us and you do hit infrastructure, you're liable for all those damages. So you have to pay for the damages, you put yourself at risk, and there could be additional fines as well. So really it's a win-win by calling Ontario One Call. Yeah. Um, b b before we let you both go, thank you for joining us this morning. Kate, do you... Do you do you find the excitement to get out into your backyard, wherever you are in this country, is as high as it's ever been, considering what the last year's been like, specifically what the winter's been like? Like, are, I understand people wanting to get out. they got to do it safely, but it seems like there's a real urge to get going on your property. Totally, and we've been cooped up inside all winter, and obviously we've been told to stay home, so we've been sitting inside looking out our front or, front, front or back doors and thinking about all of the projects that we can tackle this spring. So I understand it. We just want people to be safe and to take the right steps, which is why we're talking about Dig Safe Month and we're talking about Ontario One Call and getting your utility locates before you start any of your projects. And I know it's tempting because it's so exciting to get outside and start, <laughs> yeah. but just call Ontario One Call first. Avoid the headache, the fines, and everything else that could go wrong, like potentially hazardous exactly. things that can happen. It's just the right sure. thing to do. For sure. And by the way, yeah. you're not a bad neighbor for reporting something if you also see something a little weird going on. I don't, I, I don't want to start neighbor. 
neighbor fights, but this is kind of important. Oh, for, it's important for the whole Don't dig into that too much. Whoa! <laughs> Kate, you know what? You're lucky. We are all friends, the backyard again. I said we've become hey. the backyard again. Do you know that show? Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't think it was coming up now, but yeah, <laughs> okay. I know the show. Because it's true. We, we embrace our backyards like never before. People are moving from small apartments and condos en masse to the suburbs because they want to slice a backyard heaven. Just do it right. Thanks, guys. Exactly. Thank Thanks. you so much. Sorry. Sorry. No, Kate, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Don't apologize. Thank you very much. Kate and Ian, again, uh, get out there in the backyard, but stay safe if stay you can, safe. and there are ways to do it. All right, we're, we're going to take a break. Nicole's coming up, as always. She's got some celebrations, and there's no better time to Ooh. support some local eateries and establishments. What's she digging into? It is, uh, it is, it's getting fancy. One might call that a forklift. It's getting hey fancy on BT. That looks delicious. I'll stop.